Hello, I'm Florent Boston. I am a freelance concept and background artist in video games and animation industries. Welcome to this second video of the series Create a Narrative Environment Painting. Today, I would like to show you how I made my piece Fishing House, a full 2D process using Photoshop and Purell. I invite you to watch the first video if you don't, because this piece is pretty similar to the previous phone, but you will see that the process is completely different. To start, I created a mood board on Purif. Here, the theme was a fishing house. I decided to not stay too literal with the theme and added some twists. I did two different houses. The first subject is a soul catcher and the second one is a sea monster fisherman. For the design section, they have similar references like the houses on stilts. For the soul catcher theme, I added revered references and lanterns to catch the souls. For the sea monster part, I added some Goji references because of its organic design. With the sun mood, I wanted a foggy atmosphere in the forest at the beginning, but I decided to change it after. For the monster mood, I wanted a simple sunny beach. Unlike the previous video, I did some design iteration using the silhouette technique. Silhouettes allow me to focus on the general shape of my design without going into details. I make them in black and white, sometimes with gray, to get to the point. I play with size variation, small, large, medium. I try to be dynamic by avoiding things that are too parallel or too straight. Of course, this is because I want a cartoon style. I think about the emotions I want to convey. Should I feel rassured, threatened, or impressed by this building? For this, I synthesize the shapes, triangular, rectangle, square, round. I go out of my comfort zone and experiment with different things. Then I choose the most relevant silhouette and add details. It's time to redefine the design, specify the textures, and include the elements of the mood board. I also place a character to get the right scale. I add other view of my design to have a better understanding of the volume. After that, it's time for the composition. As we saw in the previous video, I focused on the readability of my subject, the lighting and the contrast. Here, I decided to try several moods. For this process, it is important not to go too far in the rendering before adding color, because I will repaint almost everything. Talking about colors, it's time to add some. For me, this part is quite chaotic. There are a lot of ways to add colors to my painting. At first, the colors are not good, but I'm just trying to have a starting point. After that, I separate my layer, I fix my contrast, and I start to paint on top of everything by choosing new colors. For me, the advantage of this process is that I separate the different stages of creation, which allows me to concentrate on each part. Since I am only in 2D, it is easier to have dynamic shapes and to have happy accidents. The weak point is that starting from black and white can be a complicated and discouraging process. Your colors will not be perfect directly and will be too. And here are the final artworks. I could go further in rendering, but my goal was to create two quick concepts. I also did a little night iteration for one of them. That's it for this second video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, you will see a complete recorded process of my clock town piece. 
See you later.